and I don't know why I'm using that voice. So I found a recipe for a chocolate marble chiffon cake. And you bake it in an angel food cake pan. Mix up the egg whites, beat until they form a stiff paste. Peak, not paste. I'm gonna take a quarter cup of cocoa and mix it with a quarter cup. Did I say a quarter cup of cocoa? I believe it's a third cup of cocoa. Once it's nice and smooth, add three tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of oil. Nice and smooth. Next up, bind two and a quarter cups of flour with one and a third cup sugar and a teaspoon of salt. You don't want to forget things like baking powder, especially for a cake. Then I'm just going to mix it all together. All blended, Ooh, you can see that. To that I'm going to add cold water, oil, eight egg yolks here. Then I need to mix it all together. And then you gently fold it in to the batter. Yeah, that made stiff peaks for sure. <laughs> Maybe a little too stiff. Gently fold it in. I have a hard time being gentle with this. And I don't know why I'm using that voice. Maybe a little too stiff. Why I'm using that voice. Do you see how much lighter and fluffier that batter is? Whoa, I've got it way down here. This is an awkward position for the camera one. I'm going to take two cups of this batter, ooh, approximately, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, and separate it. I will tell you something, this recipe is made with love for my family because I don't eat these ingredients that are in here and it's just for them. That's how much I love them because I know they will love this recipe. I hope so anyway. I'm going to stir in that chocolate mixture. It looks pretty good. Here's that angel food cake pan I talked about. We're gonna take about half of this batter and spread it around in this pan. Layer the chocolate and the white. I'm just winging this. Waste not, want not. I will completely scrape this bowl clean. I kick the tripod. To get that nice, pretty marbled effect, I'm just going to run a knife through here, and this will mix the batters together, and we'll get a nice, pretty marble effect. At least, that's the idea. Then you just want to pop that into a pre- you just want to pop that into the oven that's been preheated to 325 degrees. I'm just waiting for the preheat. The preheat. Bake one hour, 15 minutes, or until it's done. Now comes the fun part. Don't believe me, it's not fun. Clean up. I know some people enjoy washing dishes. Me, not so much. It's just something you do. Okay. There they are. Dishes are washed, they're air drying. Do you see this? Have you ever had a Venus flytrap? Do you know what to feed it? To keep it alive? Guess we're gonna find out. Jack looked it up, they said, not hamburger. Okay, it's time. I pulled it out of the oven. And like with an angel food cake, you're supposed to <laughs> invert it on a funnel and I have this old Coke bottle to do that only. I don't think I can do it. And hold the camera. It said immediately, but I didn't do that. Jack it out. Ooh, look at that. Doesn't that look scrumptious? Cut around the outside and the inside. Pop on a plate. Slice right above the right on the bottom. There it is. That's how much I love them because I know they will love this recipe.